Hello, uh, this lesson is for grade 4. We are going to do doodling art, okay? So doodle means, you know, uh, things that, you know, you are going to you know, draw uh, just uh, randomly. Uh, obviously, you have to show some uh, continuous lines, including some uh, patterns all together. But it's very, you know, fun and very creative way that, you know, you can do it. Okay, so I'm going to show you some actually you know, formula, you know, format that, you know, you are going to do. So first, uh, you need to actually take a look at my chart, okay? And you see it, you know, you probably actually take a look at the you know, directions. Those are the you know, uh, different types of you know, uh, the, uh, the lines or circular shape, you know, uh, the shape that, you know, you are going to work on. And then the next one is in you know, the pathways. Those are the ones that, you know, you need to, you know, put it in the uh, repetitions, okay? Obviously, you can actually you know, put those all the list under the direction. You can make it as in a pattern as well. Okay. The next one is a uh, thickness. You need to show somehow in you know, a thin or thick or either you know all across in you know, a thin or in you know, all across in you know, a thick. Okay. Those are the you know, uh, the different variations that thickness in you, know, you need to work on. So this is in you know, a basic in you know, a formula that you know, you are going to work on uh, in order to you know, create the uh, doodling art. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some other example which I actually did within you know, a grade three student. So this is one of actually you know, Paul Clay's in you know, a burden children. You know, so I just you know made some in you know, a nice you know, drawing together. It was a little bit inspired, and then adding some all you know, action lines and together. Remember, you know, the last time, the first action of the lesson, when we actually started online teaching, and then you know, I actually show you using uh, a palm, and then just to trace it out, and then you know, just adding all different kinds of line variations in, right? So uh, this time it's gonna be a very similar. We're gonna actually start putting on a color together. So if you can, you know, prepare, okay, you need to prepare a marker. A pen is also good. If you want to start with a pencil, that's good too, okay? Then some actually in a color marker, you know, uh, if you want to, okay? Or, you know, uh, I got some, you know, a bunch of, you know, crayons, you know, as you see in here, or color pencil, okay? So those are the things, you know, you are going to, you know, work on. If you can, you can actually, you know, have some a little bit, you know, sort of, Making a kind of a square, I'm um, sorry, uh, the circular shape, you know, if you can. This is, you know, uh, the container empty yogurt, you know, but definitely, you know, you can use it too, okay? So those are the materials that, you know, you are going to work on this project then, okay? So I'm going to show you the you know, next clip that, you know, how you can actually start off, okay?